Stock number seven on the on the in the CRA Truck Series brings us to Flemington Speedway in Flemington, New Jersey. As we're here today for 70 laps of racing on this 0.625 mile square shaped racetrack. Yep, it's a short track with a short track shaped like a square. As we're here for some great racing racing here today, we had this is the second new track we're doing in Truck Series. It's bright, if it's not new, it's probably been one I've done in a long time. And this is another track. One of the old trucks has been done in the old days of truck series racing as well too. So hopefully this does well here too. So we're here. So here's the starting lineup on the pole. It's Jessica Shelton, the number 98 Cheerios Betty Crocker checks Dodge. She's alongside number 44 Seth Cole, the Federated Auto Parts Ford. Second row has Trent Dunham in number one, the Mopar Dodge. He's alongside our Napa United Ford, number 28 Keith Batson sits alongside. Third row has truck number three Cole Deaver. <clears throat> the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. He's alongside number two. That's Dylan Young and it's CarQuest ASC certified Dodge. Going right over four is number 16, Charles Sanford in the, in the Papa John's Pizza Chevrolet. He won the last race in the tour at Portland. He's alongside number 99, Super Chips Ford. It's Levi McIntyre. Next row down is number 20, Matt McIntyre in the MBNA America Ford, or Chevrolet, I should say, excuse me. And, and, by, no, and no, by the way, he's no relation to Levi. He's alongside number 52, Kyle Matthews, at Daytona and Australia winners this season. Next row, Benjamin Miles in 62, and then Napa, and Napa Auto Parts Dodge, and number 24, Quaker State Chevrolet, it's Nathan Ormond. Next row is number 17, Colin Cropley in the Western Auto, Western Auto Chevrolet, and number 4, Stephen Colon in the Square D Dodge. Next row is number 11, Laura Chung in the k and Filters Toyota, and number 31, Microtel Dodge of Mitchell Collins. Next row is number 21, Quentin Moore in the Racing with Jesus Ford. He's alongside number 29, Allison Ray in the Mopar Dodge. Next row is 83, Joshua Osborne, the Mission Uniforms and Linen Services Coffee Critic Chevrolet. Get all that out of one breath. He's alongside number 59, Zachary Fitzwater, who won at Rockingham this season in the, the, car, the, the, the Kingsford Dodge. Next row is number 6, Mitchell Hodak in the Total Chevrolet. And number 18, that is Mike Turner in the Fast and All Dodge. Next row has number 5, Destin Boland in the DuPont Automotive Finishes Chevrolet. The winner this season at Las Vegas. He's alongside number 14, Amanda Evans in the Milwaukee Tools Ford. Next row, Noah Sewell in the 86, the RC Cola Dodge. And number 94, Cody McGurk, who had a fine run at Portland the last race in the Tour. Next row is number... 88, that is Zach Winkle in the Color Paved Menards Sh Chevrolet. And number 43, Mike Becker in the Dodge Dealers Dodge. Next row, Carter Joey in the number 7 XI Batteries Ford. And number 19, Carson Gum in the Pennzoil Dodge. Next row down has number 18, as number 8, Amer Aaron Macklin in the Delco Remy Chevrolet. And number 38, Channel Lock Ford of Trevor Collins. Next row down has number 50, Jackson Haywood, the Granger Ford. And number 48, Samuel Ryder. In the NBNA board, and starting shotgun is the winner is the winner at Nashville, Dallas McIntosh, the 75 Spears Manufacturing Chevrolet. So that's the starting lineup for today's running event here. As you see, 35 trucks lined up for today's race here at Flemington Speedway, and here's the command to fire the engines for today's race. Command's been given to fire the engines as we're set for racing here today. And it should be ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. And we have a lady on the pole for this race here. As pace car leads, pace truck leads the field around for the pace up and back for the start of the race right after this. Pace truck is about to duck off on the pit road right here as, as, as they're about to get a real tree here. 70 laps around this, around this square shaped racetrack at Flemington Speedway. As Jessica Shelton and Seth Cole leading the, the green flag, and the and the race is underway here at Flemington. Three wide racing right there going on in, in the middle and near the top ten in the race of, of this part of this. 
field as you see Charles Sanford, Levi McIntyre, and Dylan Young all going three wide here as you see as they go through turns number two, looks like. Jessica Shelton barely led the first lap of this race here, but it's going to be close to the line again here. Shelton pulls ahead and Seth tries to fight back on the outside. Seth just leads the lap by about half a truck length of the start finish line. And she'll take the lead out right from Seth as they go through turns to, as they come off turn number two. Keith Batson and Trent Dunham going out of here side by side as they go through turns number off turn number four as you go on board Trent Dunham's truck. In fact, Dodges have all three of our in truck cameras in today's event. Dylan Young, Trent Dunham, and Jessica Shelton all carry cameras here today. That's what it's like to ride inside a truck right there around a square shaped racetrack here at Flemington Speedway here is a track that is a track that has been used and sent back in the late 90s in the truck series and like Portland Speed like Portland Speedway was the last track the last track we went to on the tour <coughs> as Dunham tries to keep ahead of Cole Deaver in the three truck as they come off turn number four and back in the turn number one they come here lap speeds about a little over a hundred miles an hour as you're seeing right there in the case of Jessica Shelton 105 miles an hour her fastest lap of the race here and she does have the fastest lap so far. 105.121 miles an hour. Resum here and Resum about a little over 103 to 104 miles an hour. So for a square shaped track there and at low banking, not bad as far as lap speeds are concerned. It's the same the track is the same length as North, as North Wilkesboro where we'll be heading to later on this season in the truck series. But right now it's Jessica Shelton, your leader. Trent, uh, Seth Cole second. Trent Dunham is third. Cole Beaver's fourth. Battle for fifth between a pair of Fords. Lead by McIntyre in 99 and 28. Keith Batson. Batson will be driving the number 11 Budweiser car next season in the Castrol GTX Cup Series, which you'll see that on the Internet CRA Sports and Gaming channel. Dylan Young is in sixth position. Seventh is Charles Sanford. Eighth position right now is belonging to Kyle Matthews. Ninth is, I should say, no, Charles Sanford is in eighth position. Ninth is Kyle Matthews and Matt McIntyre is in tenth position. Benjamin Miles runs in eleventh position. Battle for twelfth between Colin Cropley in seventeen and twenty-four. Nathan Ormond. And boy, we're seeing some good racing on the front rider. Look at Matt McIntyre trying to muscle his way past Kyle Matthews in the 52 truck. Matt in the number 20 machine. He's by Matthews, but he's trying to get by Charles Sanford, trying to make a three wide between he, Sanford, and Dylan Young. But Matt has to back off just a little bit as he comes off turn number four. But Colin Crump is in 12th position. 13th is Nathan Orman. Laura Chung is 14th. 15th is Stephen Cologne. Battle for 16th between Joshua Osborne in 83 and Mitchell Collins in the 31 truck. Mitchell has that spot now as he takes his position away. That's 16th position. Dropping Joshua to 17th right now. Joshua is moving, has moved up from the starting position from whence he, from whence he started the race. But close competition in the early going here at Flemington Speedway. And, 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 and trucks are getting a little bit dicey here as you see at four trucks. So close, you can about throw a blanket over them right there. Colin Cropley trying to push the 20 truck of Matt McIntyre. But meantime, Kyle Matthews got a push on the outside by Benjamin Miles in the 62 machine. And that will put Matthews ahead of McIntyre right now, putting Kyle in ninth position. Riding with Dylan Young in car in truck number two. Running right now in 8th position. Up ahead of him, Charles Samper in 7th position in the Papa John's machine. If you'll notice one thing about this trick as we as we, as we we ride with Dylan Young here, and you'll notice one thing. It's in the, I, I said it's a square shaped track, but strawberries are so short there, it's almost like you're in a constant circle. 
It's funny how some trucks drive and drive here. They don't drive the same shape as you race in. And you can definitely tell they're playing with the throttle too. There you see Dylan's RPM tack right there up to about 8,200 or so. About 8,200, 8,250, something like that. And down about 92, 91 miles an hour into turn number, turn number two. It's into turn three. And up to about 114 miles an hour into turn number four. And down about 90 miles an hour. Or actually, into turn three, 90 miles an hour into turn number four now. That's the thing with that. You're trying to keep up with a lap, the speeds they run on the track right there. And it's and the straight, as we said, was so short. Dylan's last lap 104.705 was his last lap of the race rider so far. But as far as the leader is concerned, well, Jessica Shelton is about darn near checked out from Seth Cole. As she holds a substantial lead after 19 laps here at, at Flemington. As she has a substantial 1.1 second lead on the second place track. And we saw how Dylan, we saw from Dylan Young and Trent Dunham's view. Let's take a ride with Jessica Shelton. See how she drives this track. 115 miles are in turn number one. 116 to turn two, down about 89 miles an hour to off turn two. And to turn three, about 89 again. And about 115 in turn number four, down about 84 miles an hour in the middle off turn number four. And her lap 104.481 miles an hour here. And her fast lap so far, she has a fast lap so far at 106.007. But they got that Cheerios Betty Crocker Dodge tune running running to perfection right now as Shelton <clears throat> just driving away right now as, as Seth Cole is now in the battle for the second position with him and Trent Dunham. The 44 and the 1 trucks. Cole Deaver remains in fourth position and Levi McIntyre now runs in fifth spot. Keith Batson a little bit slow out there, holding up Dylan Young just a little bit to come off turn number three. In the meantime, Charles Sanford, Dylan Young, and Kyle Matthews now bunched up a little bit too. Sanford leading that threesome. Dylan goes inside of Charles now, trying to get position on him right there as he goes in turn number three. Now comes off turn number four. Charles floors the throttle in his red and white Chevrolet and says, no way, Dylan, I'm supposed to be ahead of you. And Dylan says, and Dylan says, oh yeah, well, I'm going to see to that. Mm -hmm. Things starting to calm down right there in the front of the pack of the trucks right now here. Colin Croppy runs in 11th position. <coughs> Laura Chung up the 12th spot. 13th is now Benjamin Miles. Mitchell Collins up the 14th as him and Joshua Osborne both got past Nathan Ormond for position. So it drops Nathan down to 16th in the number 24 truck. And now about going right there going on here between the 18 of Mike Turner and the 6th truck of Mitchell Hodak. And Hodak goes inside. Gets past Turner, or tries to anyway. Turner in the Dodge, Hodak in the Chevrolet. And the five truck of Destin Bowen trying to figure out who he wants to go with right there. Hodak has a spot by just a couple of feet right there as they come off, to the, as they come off the last corner and it's side by side. And Turner had that had position by just, a, by just a smidgen the last time by, but... Now Destin Bowens doesn't know he wants to go with it. He decides to go. He just and now he decides to move Mike Turner up the track, off the off the turn the last time by. And now Hodak has a spot now. It's that puts him at the 19th now. But now Destin Bowen trying to get past the 18 truck himself. Destin trying to find a line that he needs that he thinks will he hopes will. Give him some, give him some speed. Twenty first is where that number five truck is running right now. The eight truck of Aaron Macklin trying to get around Zach Winkle in the eighty eight truck. 
just behind him. So you got two sharp blades right there behind. Quentin Moore, though, and Quentin Moore, of course, hoping he'll move his way up to the front right there. Well, his truck not working the way he hopes to right now in that 21 machine. He is running right now 24th in the field. About to get passed by Noah Sewell in the 86 truck and the 19 of Carson Gum, who also had high hopes that he hopes to run well here today at Flemington, but that doesn't, but sometimes your high hopes are not um, what you expect. Carson Gunn now trying to get by here. He's got Allison Rain behind him in the, 20, in the 29 machine. Just. Carson up the high side right there and floors with her on that, that Penzoil Dodge. Gets past Allison or holds off the challenge for the time being, I should say. Fitzwater trying to get past as well, too. Somebody got off the wall right there, come off the last corner here, but I uh, don't know who that was. And that takes you back to the leader, Jessica Shelton, the number 98 machine. And her lead has shrunk since the last time we talked about her. It was 1.1 seconds the last time, uh, last time we talked about her. Well, it's now 8 tenths of a second now, 0.85 here. It was, seven, was 7,900 so the, the lap before that. So Seth Cole trying to mount a charge in that number 44 machine. <clears throat> we had mentioned Jessica, of course, the six-time Casual GTX Cup Series champion. There she has announced that she's running partial schedule in season 35. In that season, when we go to the 1991 car set. She right now, uh, of course, holding on that lead though. But, but Seth Cole has closed up big time now in that 44 machine as he is as he's now about to put the pressure on the 98 truck. Forty-five hundredths of a second the last time by between the front two trucks here. To come up the last corner here. I actually come up the third corner, should I say, and Shelton. Goes by. Seth goes by as well, too. 4,500 of a second. Still the, the margin between those two trucks. See the third place truck trying down right now as he's trying to close up on those front two trucks. He's 1.2 seconds behind the leaders. About to complete the 39th lap. We'll be down to 31 to go here at Flemington Speedway. The laps are clicking off quickly. As we have passed the halfway point of this event. The top 10 will still remain status quo except Keith Batson has moved past Levi McIntyre to fifth position now in the 28 machine. Battle going on here for eighth position as 52 Kyle Matthews inside of number two Dylan Young. Matthews in the AC Delco machine, Young in the Team ASC CarQuest truck. <sighs> Kyle's Dodge on 99, Kyle's Chevrolet, I should say, a 1995 Chevrolet, Dylan's truck, Dylan's Dodge. Well, if you know his favorite year in NASCAR, well, you know what year this truck is. It's a 2001 model. <laughs> Matt McIntyre, though, in the 20 truck, trying to get by both the 52 and the 2 trucks right there. As Matt goes low side of Dylan Young, tries to get past him right there for ninth position. Matt's wanting to follow the 52 of Kyle Matthews. And by the way, if you haven't checked um, 
And by the way, uh, one, by the way, I don't mean to cut a promo here, but uh, if you guys have not checked out Dylan Young and Kyle Matthews' channel called We The Coasters, then be sure to check it and check it out and give us a subscribe. And you will not regret doing so. If you love roller coasters, well, then you'll love Kyle Matthews and Dylan Young's channel, We The Coasters. So get that channel to subscribe on YouTube. Right now, those two are giving are giving everybody at Flemington a pretty good show for position right now. Dylan tries to pull back ahead of Matthews, and Kyle has to back it off just a little bit here. So Dylan takes eighth back away from Matthews, but Kyle's not giving up. If you know his uh, bulldog tenacity style of driving. There's the front two trucks here. Seth Cole still trying to close up on Jessica Shelton. He has closed up. It's 33 hundredths of a second between the 98 and 44 trucks here. Dodge leads Ford second, Dodge in third, Chevrolet in fourth, and a Ford in fifth. So you got two Dodges, two Fords, and a lone GM product in Cole Deaver in fourth place. But I tell you, Seth Cole has, has, really, has really ate up at Jessica Shelton's lead right now. Rear bumper cam from Jessica's truck. See the last speeds are this time by between those front two trucks. Jessica at 101.361. Set at 100.626. So Seth lost a little bit of that lead right there. His lead is, the lead is now up to a half a second. Almost a half a second. Trent Dunham, though, how had had headed. Headed close up to less than a second himself, too, from third position right there. And Seth close up a little bit that time by. 4,700 now that, that time by. As we're coming up on 21 to go this time by between uh, for the leaders. Battle for six right there between Levi McIntyre, 99, and 16, Charles Sanford. That's for sixth place. Levi up the high side, Charles peaks low. SUV from inside Dylan Young's truck. Eight positions where he's running at right now, trying to close up on Charles Samper. <coughs> Last speed starting to fall off just a little bit right there, just a little over a hundred miles an hour a lap now out of these trucks. Fast lap was 106 a little bit earlier. See what the fast lap is, is so far. Jessica Shelton still holds it at 106.007. That's the trucks that over one at 105 or better. Now Charles Samper tries to get around uh, Levi McIntyre. You're watching all this from Dylan Young's perspective. And Dylan just six cents of a second back right there, but he's got pressure from Kyle Matthews once, a, once again. It's Levi himself trying to get around Keith Batson, the 628 truck here, but Keith's pulled ahead of the 99 machine. I'm surprised, and Charles is about ready to put the bumper to that 99 saying, get out of my way, Levi. Levi up the high side, Charles down the low side. Let's see what happens in turn number four as they come out there, as they come out that corner. Charles is still on the inside lane here. Levi trying to cut him off, and he almost did that, and he just about did that time by. But Levi's starting to pull back ahead of Charles right now at this point of the, at this point of the race here. But up front, that we got a battle for second place about ready to brew right here as as Trent Dunham is close up on the back of his buddy Seth Cole, who is still trying to catch Jessica Shelton. And I think and I think it's really tight up now between those front three trucks. Let's see what it is this time by here. Jess crosses the line this time by now. 
And she gained and she gained time on Seth, but Seth lost time on Trent. Trent and Alonso for second place in the number one truck. Trent to the low side here, and he's going to try to catch, catch a sniff of the draft off Jessica Shelton's truck. What is some great racing here. And if something happens to those front two trucks, right, and something happens to those second and third place trucks, right there, Cole Deaver could have vain if something happens here. And, and those two are letting Deaver close up. Now we may have a four truck battle possibly for the lead, and maybe for the win. Dunham inside of Seth, and Seth chops him off. And this time by, we're coming, we're closing, and this time by, we're going to lap number 59. We'll be down to 11 to go here at Flemington. And Seth closed it up to, closed it up a little bit. There's, it went from six tenths of a second to a half a second now between the front two trucks. There's Seth saying, I'm losing time to the leader, battling for the second place driver, second battle for the third place driver. So let's keep in line here and try to close up for the win here. But I don't know. Jessica Shelton's truck there wants to be is strong is is strong right now. And she's actually pulling ahead a little bit of, of Seth Cole right now this time by as well, too. Meantime, the interval between the second and between the third and fourth place trucks here is a little over six tenths of a second between a one and a three. And make that a little under half a second there. So Cole Deaver just wants to take third position away from Trent Tunham. So But they are running out of time. We're down to nine to go right now. They're they are running out of time. And boy, Seth Cole is really close to Bun just now that time by. Let's see what this uh, let's see what the interval is. It went from 74 hundredths of a second to 49 hundredths now. It's now it's now less than a half a second now between the front two. And now Trent's got to run on the inside of Seth once again, right there. And that may be trouble for Seth as well, too, because that's gonna let Jess pull back ahead again. Oh brother. This could be interesting right there, these last few laps right here. See what happens here. Off turn number, in the turn number four they come here. See what the interval is this time by? It was 50 to 700 for the last time by. And this time by it is 5200 of a second. So 500 of a second of the lap that's not going to cut it. But look at Seth really driving in that that time by here. He's up on the, he's almost on the back bumper of the 98 truck. Off the second turn in the turn on the, off the, in the turn number four, I should say. Seth looks to the outside. It's now less than a quarter of a second now between the front two. If Seth can drive it in hard in, in the turns there, one of the, and one more time right there like that, there he may be up on the he may be up, up, up alongside the ninety eight. Off turn number four, they come here to margin that time by thirty one hundredths of a second. Boy, Jessica Shelton have, uh, pretty, uh, is trying to be smooth here. As she, as she needs to be on, the, on a track like this here. And she knows one little slip and sets by her. That time by completes lap number 67. Down to three to go. And Seth once again trying to close up now. Dodge in first. Ford in second. Dodge in third. Chevy in fourth. They have, those four have pulled away from Keith Batson, now four seconds behind the leader. Two to go. White flight this time by. Seth slipped up that time by. Off turn number one, now through turn two. Riding on board with Jessica Shelton. As she knows she's got the white flag this time by, and she sees it out of her, out of her view. One lap remaining here at Flemington Speedway. 
And a yellow flag has flown on the final lap. So that's going to confirm victory for Jessica Shelton. Who started this race from Nepal. I tell you, Seth Cole had a hard time getting trying to get her anyway, though, because he was because he was closing because he was dropping back. So the only caution flag of the day flies on the final lap of the race here, but but they go into turn number three right now. Jessica Shelton off turn number four, and she is going to do it here today. Jessica Shelton gets her first truck series victory of the season. As she will take the checkered flag here at Flemington Speedway. And there it is. The number 98 Betty Crocker checks Cheerios Dodge. Goes to victory lane here for the first time this season. Seth Cole finishes second. Third will go to Trent Dunham. Fourth to Cole Deaver. And Keith Batson will come home in fifth. Sixth will go to Levi McIntyre. Sixth or seventh, I should say, will be to Charles Sanford. Dylan Young, eighth. Kyle Matthews, ninth. And Colin Cropley will come home in tenth position. Average speed of 100.602 miles an hour, we'll, and we'll check and see what happened to cause the yellow flag here in just a moment. Well, there's your explanation of why Colin Crumpy finished 10th in this race here. And there you see it. Colin just got by Matt McIntyre for position, and his truck started suffering mechanical problems. There you see it right there. There's what happened right there. Cropley had just passed McIntyre for 10th, and McIntyre was trying to go get in position back on him in turn number three. But then the MBNA truck falters, and that's just been that's just been Matt McIntyre's luck this season, too, because he always seems to have a good running truck. And something always seems to happen to him. And good driving right there on the part of Carter Joey in the seven truck to keep from from nailing him in the back end right there but there's what confirmed victory right there for jessica shelton in the 98 truck as she will get as she will go on the victory here today at flemington speedway so seven races into the season here average speed 100.602 we gave you the top 10 already in this event here laura chung with the truck number 11 finishes up finishes 11th 12th we'll go to benjamin miles mitchell collins 13th amanda evans matches her truck number finishes 14th Joshua Osborne comes home 15th. 16th will go to Nathan Orman, Stephen Cologne, Mitchell Hodak, Destin Bowen, and Noah Sewell, the top 20. Aaron Macklin, Michael, Mike Turner, Zach Winkle, Quentin Moore, and Carson Gunn, the top 25. And 6 through 10, or 26 through, then 26 on down, Allison Rain comes home 26th. Then Cody McGurk, Mike Becker, Jackson Haywood, Zachary Bitswater, Tri Trevor Collins. Carter Joe, um, Dallas McIntosh, 32nd, and Carter Joey, Samuel Ryder, and Matt McIntyre, the top 30 uh, finishing order in today's event. <sighs> so that will do it here today at Flemington Speedway in Flemington, New Jersey. And it seems some pretty good action here. We had a, a, you know, we've had a driver lead every lap in this race here, but we had some great positions, great battles for, great, great battles for position. From second on back, at least, <laughs> you know, but, um, but, uh, but short track racing happening, but short track racing happening for you right here is we, is all I can say here, but congratulations once again to Jessica Shelton, the winner here today at Flemington Speedway. If you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe to this channel, and also, and if you like, if you want, if you want, if you like some, if you like action from any other sports, any SRA stuff, well, subscribe to the channels like the NSRA Sports and Gaming channel, x 867 x is X and and also from well just type in in the CRA and you'll check out and check it check it out for yourself is all I can say here on YouTube so that will do it here today at Flemington Speedway here for now this is James Pauls this is a production of the NSA celebrating 10 years celebrating celebrating 11 years of off on racing at its best we'll see you at the next race in the tour at Charlotte Motor Speedway